Hello, everybody. It's Jess here with Blush Jess. This is my husband, David. Hey, guys. Are you subscribed? Trained him well. <laughs> um, welcome to another Battle of the Brands video. We've really enjoyed doing these for you guys, and you all seem to have also really enjoyed doing them. Definitely. The last few, you've got to see us do it with our friend, Jen. And sadly, she is not here today. So. Uh, it's just her and her wingman tonight. <laughs> That's right. But we're excited to bring you another one. We have 11 varieties of... Cheetos. Cheese curls, off-brand Cheetos. Not the puffs, the curls. The curls, the, the crunchy, the, some of them are called cheese crunchies, cheese curls, cheese doodles, um, that thing, that there. Are you, so, a are you a puff girl or a crunchy girl? Uh, most of the time I like the cheese curls, the crunchy ones, um, but I do like the puffs too. Maybe, we can, do, girl, maybe we can do a puffs. But anyway. I usually go curls too. If you have never seen our Battle of the Brands video, um, basically what we do is we buy the name brand, which is Cheetos. And time. as many off brands of that brand as we can find. And we compare taste, um, texture, appearance, smell, also price um, to see what is the best value. And maybe, you know, we found in some of our videos that the off brand actually tastes better than the name brand. And they're like half the price sometimes. So and it could really save you a lot of money without you guys having to right. go out there and try them all yourself. And in order to do this objectively, we do it blindly by putting them in a bowl, labeling the bottom of the bowl so that we do not know what the um, bowl is on the bottom, but it correlates to a bag or brand with that letter on it. So then at the end, we look at the bottom of the bowl and say, it's this letter. And we rank um, it. from one to 10, one meaning, don't ever give me that cheese curl again. 10 meaning, that's my favorite. So. so we don't know what we're tasting, and then we rank it 1 to 10, and then we put those in order of least favorite to all the way up to favorite, and we mm -hmm. tell you guys how much they cost per ounce and everything. And what brand they are. And it's a really, really fun and super eye-opening. I have learned a lot. Yeah. And just looking at these Cheetos, I can tell you they look very similar. And I we say, say that every we time. We say that every but time, but true. I feel like these even more so, mm -hmm. like these Cheetos. Cheetos. Um, also, I've gotten a lot of questions of what do you do with all the Cheetos? <laughs> it's called We're Youth Pastors, so we have a youth group that eats it all. <laughs> so this is what we're doing. So um, yes, we have 11 bags of cheese curls open. Now I did promise Lucy some of them, yeah. but we have a pact that we only eat them because we are on our weight loss journey and we're doing low carb. So right. this is definitely not low carb, but we are going to taste them during this video. Minimally minimally one or two each yeah. and then all of them go away they will yes. all be gone tomorrow yes. um, David actually created a sermon series based on this off-brand idea called brand new so yes so for our youth group so they have been having a lot of fun tasting yeah. our leftovers yeah. <laughs> so anyway let's get started with the first one which way do you want to start uh, let's go clockwise like that that okay. way we don't lose tracks. let's start with this one okay. These are very puffy, it looks like. Mm -hmm. They're not real skinny. Mm. Mm. A little dry. A little bit. They have a good flavor. They're not very crunchy, though. They're like a styrofoamy texture. They are. Not my favorite. Um, I'm going to go... Um, I'm going to say five. I was going to say, I was thinking five, but you know what? I think I'm going to go six. Okay. All right. Number two. Okay. Now I'm going to get a skinnier one. I'm going to go on my left hand because I'm writing with my right hand. Saltier. Oh, yeah, they are. Flavor's stronger, though. And they're crunchy. They still aren't as crunchy as I like them sometimes. Like, they're pretty... I don't want them hard, though. I want to be able to bite through pretty easy. No, but they're not soup. I mean, they're crunchy, but they're not... I, I like them. I like them. They're definitely good. Um, I'm going to go up one and go seven. I'm going to say seven as well. Okay. Number okay. three. Number three. Now, these all automatically look lighter. And I think we both know what these are. We saw them in the bag, the spray. I thought, man, these don't look like Cheetos at all. Not much flavor. Mm -mm. Not enough flavor at all. They have a good taste. And the texture's good. The texture's good. But the flavors... Will... They need more cheese flavor. Four. I'm going to say four as well. It's not okay. matching me. <laughs> right. I agree. All right. These look very skinny. Yeah. Very skinny. Very skinny. Right, well, I got a little thick one. These are all fresh bags. Again, not much flavor. Mm -mm. They're salty, 
really salty. But I'm not tasting. I wouldn't cheesy. say really salty. But Mine they're... was salty, but I didn't taste a cheesy flavor hardly at all. Um, I'm not crazy about this one. Five. Mm. I'll say. David's phone keeps going off. You hear that? Um. I'll say five as well. Okay. Okay. Next step. These are a little thicker. Oh, they taste stale. Yeah, they do. Then we got a bad bag. They're a good flavor. I don't know. But they taste like, like stale. Very stale. I'm not that crazy about the All flavor. All of these were in date as well. I'm not crazy about the flavor. Um, and it's not, it's not pleasant enough. It just tastes like a the cheese. The staleness flavor. is killing me. I'm gonna say four. I'm going three. Not good. I don't okay. like that. Number six. Okay. Better. Mm -hmm. I like these. Still, maybe maybe it's just because of our of our taste changing, but I'm not as crazy about the the lack of seasoning. Why not good seasoning? I like these. I'm gonna say six. I'm gonna go back to just five. They're not. They're still okay. Okay. We've just hit some okay ones. Maybe the next row will be better. Maybe. Start here. Okay. Here is the next one. These look really good. These look what I would consider. Yeah, these look like they've got more coating mm -hmm. on them. They're dry. There's almost a... Flavor's good, though. There's a different flavor, though. There's like a yeah. Parmesan or yeah. a different cheese than, like, normal... It's good. But it's better. It's more, they are dry. It's more pleasant to me, but it's better. I mean, it's more, it's, it is dry, but the flavor is more pleasant, so I think it's better. So I'm going to go up to six. Okay, I'm going to say six, too. Okay, here we go. And they're all getting stuck in my These cheese. look wider. Mm -hmm. They're not as skinny as yeah. a lot of the other ones. They look like they have a lot of cheese on them. Much better. These are good. They're not stale. These are really good. Very good. Lucy's coughing dramatically in the background. I like these. Mm. Eight. Eight as well. Stop right, copying three, we're me. On everything. Stop copying me. Okay. These also look lighter, but they look coated in cheese. Mmm. Coated. Hmm. Mm. It's a different kind of flavor. I think I might know what these are. Me too. I really, really like them. These are my favorite so far. There's a nostalgia coming over me right now. Mm -hmm. I, I think I know what these are too. I'm gonna say nine. I, I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna stay with eight. But okay, these are very neon orange. Mm -hmm. Right here. Very. Okay. Very cheesy. Salty. Really salty. They, they put it. They, Mega salty. They coated them in that seasoning to give it the extra salt. I don't like it. I don't like the salty, salty. I though. love the crunch. Texture's good. Mm -hmm. Flavor's good. But they overdid the flavor, so now it's salty. Yeah. Really salty. So I'm going to go down a little bit and go to seven. I'm going to say six. Okay, last but not least. Mm. Or maybe least. Who knows? These look good. Good crunch. Good flavor. Hmm. I'm gonna honestly say I don't know which one of these is the actual Cheeto name. No, right? they, a lot they of them, all say they're all really close. Um, these are good. A little salty. A little, but I like the cheese flavor. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go back up to eight. I'm gonna say eight as well. Okay. Okay. Now we have it all stuck in our teeth. We do have a winner, but we also have a couple of ties here. Okay. How um, are we going to handle ties? We're uh, we're just going to give them the same place as we move up. Okay. <clears throat> so coming um, in last place, I'll give David just a second to. All right, tally. here we go. Okay. So last place was number five, which is that. One. Okay. 
office is D, which is D is uh -oh. my papers over on that chair right there. Oh, I see. D is the Oots brand. Oots. Now, I think these are the ones we said with stale. Yeah. We did get these at Ollie's, which could. They could have been on that shelf a while. But they were all in date. They were not expired. Um, these were one of the most expensive um, at 30 cents an ounce and our least favorite. So I didn't even like the flavor, even if they weren't stale. But the yeah. staleness definitely hurt. You got them, a so. 7 out of 20. So. Yeah. Okay. Right. Next okay. one up is number three. That one. Okay. Which you know what that is. Okay. Okay. That's Trader Joe's. I'm and sorry. I knew and I knew what it was. Now the, we had a couple in here that were baked, and Trader Joe's is one that is baked, but I don't think that's the reason I didn't like it. No. It didn't have enough seasoning. Right. If they'd seasoned um, it more the like a The crunch is perfectly there. Now there, you're not saving a bunch of calories by getting the baked ones, but there is less fat. So if that matters to you, the baked have you been telling them how many, how much they are per ounce? Yeah, I have. The the, uh, the Trader Joe's ones is twenty eight cents an ounce, so that's, that's still expensive. pretty high. Yeah. Um, and you know, but they are less fat. I don't even think these taste less fat to me. They just don't have enough seasoning for me. Right. Okay, we're gonna go up now two more points to num to a ten, which is number four. A is Harvest Road. Now, Harvest Road is a brand I never heard of, but we also found at Ollie's. Um, and these are also baked, but I like these better than Trader Joe's, yeah. and they have more seasoning. Yeah, they definitely weren't that They're bad. They're not bad. Okay. Okay. These were 13 cents an ounce. It was a humongous bag from all Ollie's. All right. In the middle of the pack, we have a tie now. So let's just in numerical order, Damon, but they're going to be. Hey, why don't equal. we just taste them real quick? You want to try to break let's the tie? Let's break the tie. Which ones are they? They're, Don't look at what is what it is. Okay, they're this one uh -huh. and number six, that one. Okay, don't look at what they can be. That one. Mm -hmm. That one's better. Okay, number six is better. So this is in the next place. Right. So number one. Uh, J. J is Wise. Okay, these are the Cheese Doodles, you guys. That's a name brand. But I found these at Dollar Tree. And um, there was a big bag of them. They're only 18 cents an ounce. They're pretty good. But the texture was a little off yeah. for me. They're not. And even it says extra crunchy on the bag, but there's something soft about them. I don't okay, like. so let's go back to number six. That would be the next okay. one. B. Publix. Publix. Now, these are good. Very good flavor. Salty. Yeah. All the offerings seem so salty, but they're really, really good. I like them. So Publix was expensive. Mm. 30 cents an ounce. They usually are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 30 so cents an ounce. They're in the middle of the scores. So if you like them, great. But I mean, us, you could just pay yeah. a few more pennies and get an amber in if you yeah. like that better. Yeah. But it's not bad. They're really good. Next one, number seven, which had 12. And of course, prices will vary um, according to your area and sales and stuff. G. G is H-E-B. H-E-B. Now, our friend Jen was sweet enough to bring these when she came. She asked what upcoming taste tests we had. They did better came. than H, Jen. <laughs> they did really good. Um, I don't remember what these tasted like, but I'm sure they They're salty. Salty. I remember them being salty. Yeah. I remember, like, H-E-B stuff kind of tasting salty, but we really liked the H-E-B yeah. brands a lot. The flavors so. are good. Yeah, it was good. Okay. okay. And these were, now, she brought me a small bag, but I did price them out the bigger bag because that's a better deal. Mm -hmm. um, so 22 cents an ounce. Okay. okay. Next one, we're going to go up to number 10. That had 13 points. I. I is Aldi. Aldi did really good this round. You guys, Aldi is super cheap. It's, I, I priced it as 99 cents. Uh, sometimes, though, I see them like 79 cents. They're super cheap. Mm -hmm. um, and so for 99 cents a bag, they're priced at 12 cents an ounce. Super cheap. So they're at the top of the middle. So not that really bad. Really good deal at Aldi. Okay. Now let's see. Now we now we have uh, the next one, which is fourteen points, and that's number two. Okay, that's number two. F. F is the Cheetos. Yeah. So Cheetos came in what place? Cheetos came uh, fourth from the top. You guys. There's three brands we thought were better than Cheetos. That's insane. Like, I taste, I, I kept thinking, I'm going to hit the Cheeto eventually. Mm -hmm. We had it second. Right up front. And we didn't, what did we give it? We gave it. Uh, sevens? Uh, two sevens, yeah. 
That's crazy to me. And it what's so funny is what, I was what, gonna, well, what's funny is the first one we tasted was the wise and we both thought this was considerably better. Yeah. So immediately it was, a, it was a jump in flavor, yeah. but, but now what's so funny. We was, could, and we could, we probably could have both gone two eights on it if we wanted to, but still, we still thought there were three flavors better than that. Um, so. What was so funny is Lucy was looking at all the Cheetos we had out before she went to bed, and I asked her which one she wanted to try. You guys know which one she pointed at. Because she recognized the logo of Cheetos. Cheetos. Yeah. And so I just thought it was so funny that even as a four-year-old, she recognized yeah. brands. And how many of us just see a brand, we recognize it, and that's the one we buy. Yep. All right. Okay. All right. Now we have another tie to break, honey. Okay. Number eight and number 11 which is this one and that one, both had 16 points. Okay, so let's so, break this tie again. Okay. Let's go this one first. Okay. Wow, they're totally different. That one. I was gonna say that, that one has more flavor. All okay, right, so. So let's go this one first, eight. what is it? E. That's Kroger. Kroger. We love Kroger. They were having a sale the day I bought these, and the bag was $1.29. 18 cents an ounce were wow. these, and they have sales all the time on these. So, really good deal. You like? Number 11? I. That's an H, honey. Oh. I think. Yeah. Is that an H? It looks like an I. Did, honey, you think you messed me up. <laughs> what was I? Aldi? I is Aldi. Oh. So, this is Aldi. So, what? what where did we put an H? Um, oh, you put an I for number 10. I, uh, that is, oh, we haven't gotten to it yet. Maybe no, we got no, to it. No, no, we have. Oh, we yeah? have? Yeah. If that was it. Where, where's number 10? Wait. What are yeah, you honey, that's an H. Oh. See, I looked at it upside That's down. an H. So, sorry, guys. The one we thought was Aldi was actually Great. Walmart. Great value. Great value. So, Aldi and you actually... Probably, and, and I'm going to have the, great, the thing corrected at the bottom of the screen. So even though what we're talking about Aldi, you've probably already seen great value. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. The H, we need to do that better because the H and the I look very close together when you're looking at it upside well, down. Well, I drew an H, which is this close, and the I is this close. So the H is closer. That's how if you you're can looking tell. At like the, I don't know. Uh, anyway, anyway. Um, so Aldi beat out great value, basically. Yeah. That's even better. Okay, so the great value was 11 cents an ounce. That's actually our cheapest brand. It's great value because mm -hmm. um, they had a super sale. It was like 72 cents for the bag. Um, and then Aldi was only a penny more an ounce. So both great, but Aldi beat it out just by a little bit. Which means our favorite was number nine. Okay, and number nine is C, which is Golden, Golden Flake. Flake. And we, we grew up on these. They have so much flavor. And it's weird when we put them in our mouth, there's a distinct seasoning they use that is different from every other brand. This and for has, some reason. I don't know if you guys have Golden Flake. It's probably just in this area. I just know that flavor. There is an intense, they coat it in cheese, but it's not salty. Yeah. It's really, really good. So great. But I mean, Golden Flake is expensive though. It's 33 cents an ounce. Right. Which beats out. Well, the Cheetos is the most expensive, but just by two cents more, you can buy Cheetos. But I love the Golden Flake. And what's the next closest to that in terms of, um, thir so 33, what's the, no what's the next number down? Um, that 30, <clears throat> Publix. Okay. Basically, your best value for the is Walmart taste test and, and Aldi. Aldi. Yeah. Um, you, and they no, came up very high on the taste yeah. test and they were very comparable in taste yeah. and price was awesome. So I would stick with Aldi and Walmart. If it Absolutely. Was and if you can afford, if you can afford the extra dollar that week, go and get golden flake. Um, if you yeah. have them, I know a lot of people don't have them, so yeah, they're good. Anyway, this was very eye opening. Wow. I can't believe we didn't know that that was a Cheeto. That's crazy. But I think it's funny because again, growing up, our parents bought us Golden Flake and not Cheetos. And no, so I had both. Though. I had both, but I recognized Golden Flake and did not recognize Cheetos, which I means I've had it. More. I recognize Golden Flake because it's just so unique. It is um, unique, yeah. and the flavor is unique, and they yeah. put a lot of cheese on it. But the the off brands were very close to the Cheeto name mm -hmm. brand. So yeah. anyway. Let us know some ideas. If you want to see us do another Battle of the Brands, let us know some ideas. We have more in the works right now. Yeah. We can't wait to show you guys. But if you like this video, you know what to do. Give it a big thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below. Please subscribe if you're new. Click on the bell so every time we post a new video, you get it immediately. And we'll see you guys all later. Bye. Bye.